Well, we cut it up. So the cross member is now three pieces. One, the center that's missing it's out. It's getting cut to size right now. And this guy. So usually there's a spacer in here. I had that spacer in there before. And this was all dropped down. But I don't think that was going to work because it put the control arm bracket here too low or lower than it was before with the previous cross member. And it put it where the holes were before it put it forward. So it wasn't lining up with the tower. So now it does. So I think this is where it goes. And the plan is to weld that piece back in, except lower on this guy. And then we're gonna gusset it. So we'll just make it super strong. Um, so that's the plan. Um, I've got some other video from like months ago of the engine stuff. I think I'll just put that together in this video and that'll all be engine things. So hope you enjoy. Here's our Frankenstein cross member. I thought I'd just spend a little time showing the work on this one. So this is the excessive manufacturing AE86 cross member that's supposed to fit the RA21. Well, it doesn't really fit. It hangs over the edge this much and you have to put shims on here. And then that puts the control arm locations too low from where they previously were and some other things. So in any case, we're also doing a 2RZ swap in this, which is a pretty tall engine and there wasn't enough room. So we had to cut the middle tube out and drop it so you can see. From the side that we're down to clear the oil pan and even then we had to tuck the oil pan up a bit. And then also on the side you can see that we moved these forward. So they had them here and here. So we had to cut those off, move them over and weld them in. So these welds are not so beautiful, right? Um, that one is, let's see, a couple of these came out nice in any case. Um, and then we had to clip off these supports for the steering rack, which I pulled off that uh, 85 MR2 and get those out of the way to do all this other work. And now we're putting them back on. So I got a weld back in here and we had to cut the little tabs that hung off, off of there as well. Um, and grind that down a bit to clear the oil pan. But this thing still, even though it's a tank, we have to shore it up. So I'm gonna do a bunch of welds. Like this is all gonna get gusseted and filled in. Um, the same like down here, some of these need to be for the lower support, uh, need to be gusseted like we did with these two pieces. So my Eastwood welder's doing a pretty good job getting this done. Um, and I'm super happy that this rack is able to fit. I mean, it's in there by a hair, but I can make it work. So that is awesome. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna spend some time with this. Weld up all of these guys, put a bunch of supports in here um, and make this thing even heavier than it is. Thought I'd capture some of the, the stitch work. So these are all these gussets that have to go in. So you can see I'm making these small patterns. I gotta cut all this, these wonky little pieces out to fit and brace this thing properly now that we cut it to high heaven. So um, that'll be fun. <laughs> Lots of cutting and um, and stitching that in, but it's gonna be strong. It's gonna be really strong. Project Frankenstein crossmember is close. 
So 10 pieces later, how to get the best view of this. Like for instance, I was able to extend this line down to match it up. So that's one, two, three, four, five pieces alone right there. And then get this thing. And then on the bottom. So this was just showing the tube before. So that's bracing down into this gusset and that's coming underneath and that's all welded shut. And these leaves now meet up with these gussets here and are all welded in. So that was a lot of work. And um, I don't know, I might clean it up a little bit more, put a coat of paint on it and it'll look like, um, you know, brand new. <laughs> One cross member done. So there's about, well, there's not about, there's 10 little pieces welded in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, um, twelve. I guess there's twelve because we have the two from before. Um, so that was a fair amount of work, but I think it looks really nice. Um, you know, symmetrical. You can really see the drop down, right? Because this main tube, and I gusseted this up, kind of following that line. I think that came out real nice. So that should hold up well. And uh, on to the next project.